Hello and welcome back to the Forge. I'm the Artsmith and today I'll be giving you guys some more Pokemon content. He made it very clear that he wanted more, so here you go. Today I'll be showing you guys my concept for a bug type Pokemon for my hypothetical Pokemon region. If you haven't yet seen my videos on the starters for this region, I recommend checking them out. To catch you up to speed, I made the starters prehistoric themed and was contemplating making the whole region prehistoric themed as well, but I came to the conclusion that if I went down that path, I would run the risk of becoming creatively bankrupt quickly. So here's my idea. If this were a game, I'm thinking that you would probably start out as the assistant to the professor of this region. A Professor Conifer, maybe? Please let me know if that's already taken. Anyway, you've been such a great help to Conifer in his fossil research that he's developed a method to fully recreate fossil Pokemon. That's why the starters are able to be dual types without the rock typing. Then you'd go out on your journey through the western region of America. I know, wow, West Coast USA? That hasn't been done as a Fakemon region before. I wanted to make a region based on a place I'm familiar with, and this allows me to create some Pokemon based on concepts I know and love, without being restricted to the prehistoric era. However, that doesn't mean the starters will be the only dino Pokemon in the region. I think it'd be cool if there was a mechanic where you revived a new three-stage dino Pokemon in every city you visit, like you're further researching the professor's discoveries. Today, I'm bringing you a bug-type Fakemon you would meet on your journey. Alright, let's get into it. So I wanted my next few Pokemon to be the Route 1 Pokemon you'd meet at the beginning of the game. If you're unaware, nearly every Pokemon game has a handful of low-level Pokemon for you to encounter at the beginning of every game. Typically, these will be some kind of bird, bug, and normal-type animal. But there's a problem I've run into. <laughs> I think I made the final evolution for this Route 1 bug, like, way too badass. So I'll need your opinion on if this guy should remain a Route 1 Pokemon, or just another bug that you'll meet later on your journey. I based the first evolution on a bug-eyed caterpillar. If you haven't heard of these little cuties, they've essentially evolved to look like snakes so predators will avoid them. Those aren't even its real eyes, its head is actually right there. Absolutely wild, I had to make a Fakemon based on it. I named this dude Drag Eyes, combining dragon and disguise. You know, because it's disguising as a dragon. I bet you can't guess what its final typing will be. It took a while to iron out its design, but I was very pleased with the final result. He's just a little guy trying to look like a big menacing dragon. Drag Eyes, the False Dragon Pokemon At first glance, trainers might think that a tiny dragon is blocking their path. However, upon closer inspection, they will find that it is merely Drag Eyes. This Pokemon has developed a thick red shell to conceal its true form underneath. Originally adapted to avoid predator Pokemon, Drag Eyes now is prone to blur the line between imitation and reality, believing that it is, in fact, a dragon. It boasts its bold colors with unearned confidence, only to be quickly humbled if its ruse is found out. I originally wanted to base the second form on the Urodid Moth's basket cocoons that hang from tree branches, but I just couldn't find a way to fit it into a working Fakemon design. So I decided to lean more heavily into the dragon theme by making the cocoon a literal dragon egg. I'm not going to act coy about it, you can tell that the final evolution of this Fakemon is going to be a bug dragon type. I'm just shocked that this hasn't been done before, like you think Flygon would classify as one, but it's a ground dragon type. Weird. But yeah, this little dragon is starting to burst out of its egg with claws and feathers sticking out. I named it Hatchwing, combining Hatchling and Wing. Probably one of my simplest namings, but yeah, nothing much else to say about this mon. It's a cute little dragon egg. Hatchwing, the dragon egg Pokemon. As it goes through its metamorphosis, Hatchwing's shell hardens, creating a cocoon as hard as stone. It prefers warm temperatures to assist in its transformation, and will escape from its Pokeball to nestle next to its trainer on cold nights. As time passes, Hatchwing begins to grow too large for its shell. However, it is too scared to fully break out of its shell. Only a strong friendship with this Pokemon will coax it out and into the light. Before we get to the final evolution, let me just shamelessly plug for a moment. Do you like shows like Avatar The Last Airbender? then you should check out the pilot episode for The Last Fire Sprite on my YouTube channel. The crew and I put a lot of work into it, and I hope to make it a full-fledged animated series. But we need your help to make it happen. And I'm also starting a webcomic. Alright, alright, back to the Fakemon. 
the final evolution definitely went through the biggest conceptual changes. As you can see from the speed draw, at first I was much more focused on making a dragon bug hybrid, but with no inspiration backing it up. What resulted was a pretty cool looking concept that was lacking substance. A fluffy moth dragon that didn't seem to work no matter what pose I put it in. Plus it just looked way too much like Meganium. Okay, so let's try this again with a more concrete concept behind it. I like the idea of depicting a sunset on the wings, so let's keep that. Where is the region based? Western America. Okay, let's look into what an actual American dragon looks like. After some research, I came across the Piasa dragon, or more accurately, the Piasa bird. What matters is that it's a fire-breathing mythical creature that looks really cool. I was immediately drawn into its antlers and feathers. With all that, plus a color palette based on Tawa, the Hopi Sun Spirit, I had a very solid concept. The end result is a fluffy dragon with butterfly wings that skirts the line of what a dragon Pokemon can be. I really like the thematic implications of this design. It started out as an insecure bug that felt it had to present itself in a certain way in order to be respected. Then, after being encouraged to come out of its shell, it emerges as not a menacing, scaly red dragon, but as a fluffy, elegant blue dragon. What do you think? Am I reaching too much, or does it work? Dracofly, the sunset Pokemon. After coming out of its shell, Dracofly does not feel the need to hide what it truly is, and because of that confidence, it has become a dragon in its very own league. Its magnificent wings resemble a sunset, making them an effective means to stun its enemies and dazzle potential mates. Dracofly repays its trainer by keeping them warm at night. It is said that its downy feathers are the softest in the whole region. So what do you think? Would you add drag eyes to your team? It took me a while to iron out these designs because I wanted them to be perfect. Do you think this would work as a Route 1 bug, or is it just too cool to get so early? I don't know, I'd be pretty stoked to find out that the bug I picked up at the beginning of the game turned into a dragon, but that's just my opinion. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Next up will either be the Route 1 bird or mammal, whichever I finish first. <laughs> but make sure to go watch my starter videos if you haven't yet. And check out the last fire sprite, both the pilot and the comic. This has been the Artsmith, and thank you for coming to the Forge.